Happy Monday! This is Loft and Orchids, my name is Elisa. We're back to the start of the week again. How did that happen? I said that last week. <laughs> and yet again, it's happening. Um, I've had a really nice week. I've had a really lovely weekend, as you've seen. The UK weather cannot for the life of it decide what on earth it's doing. So it's like, you wake up, it's drizzling, then by afternoon it's sunny then you know you put your washing out it's all happy crack on with your life before you know it you realize it's raining it's like a half an hour later or you realize that your bloody washing's getting out <laughs> you know so anyway at the moment it's kind of coldish you know so i was gonna make some maybe one of my vicky so's pattern with the open back however in this weather you can't wear that because I'll be cold. So I've decided to go ahead and make that simplicity. I think it's simplicity on my calls. I'll pop a pattern number. I don't have it in front of me. The trench coat out of that lovely heart, gold heart embossed denim that I showed you not in the last episode, but in the one before that. So I've decided to do that last night. I was trying to figure out whether I should make the biggest size I have and have it like really oversized. But then I thought, you know, how, at what point does oversized become too big, you know? Because it's kind of, it's not fitted, but it's just like the shoulder line. It just sits here for that coat. But then I looked at some pictures of ladies who've made it up and... It kind of looks a bit narrow at the bottom and I do prefer my skirts and coats to be minimum as a minimum straight but I do prefer them to be slightly flared out it does have slits on the sides I don't know but then I have about four and a half meters and it's a meter and a half wide so there's plenty of fabric to go around so I don't know perhaps I should just lengthen it by I don't know 30 centimeters maybe and then chop it off if it's too long I don't know what to do anyway I cut it out in the biggest size I had which is size 22 if I were going by my measurements I would have to cut it in size 18 <laughs> I don't know is it a rookie mistake <laughs> stay tuned <laughs> and so will I because I have no idea what it's gonna be like when I finish it Another thing is, right, um, you know how it has the embossed, like, golden hearts. And um, also it doesn't have any lining. So a lot of ladies who made it on Instagram have mentioned that it took them a long time to, to finish the seams. Because they're obviously visible, you know, if you take it off or if it just, if it just opens, opens up as you walk, you will be able to see what seam finish you have. And I don't mind doing that sort of thing, but I need to find a matching or contrasting seam binding tape. So I was looking on the internet yesterday. I was looking for um, something that I can get on Amazon Prime delivery because as you know, Prime delivery is the next day. So that would really, really help because if I cut it out tonight, I will start making it up fairly quickly and I want it to be finished by the end of this week. Although I, I don't know. I don't know whether I'll be able to do that or not because I think um, trench, even without lining, is slightly more involved make than just a shirt or a pair of culottes. So I was looking for um, bias binding tape in gold first. I was looking in light gold I didn't find any. Um, I was looking. I was looking for rolls of it, so 25 meter rolls. Then I was looking for blue, but all the shades of blue I found were the wrong color, and also not on a roll, so it'd be more expensive. So I don't know. I need to now. 
go through my lining stash and see if I can cut up some lining and make up my own tape which will take more time um and I don't even think I have the the either blue or gold that I need so I would have to go and buy it some ash I don't know I mean it's it's a problem <laughs> it's a real problem I need to go and ramage I think I'm just gonna make my own not spend any money I'm just gonna go ramage through my lining stash which is a big box that I have I in fact I have two boxes of lining don't worry I'm gonna make a little video for you we're gonna go through it together and I'm going to talk to you which will look like I'm not talking to myself which is always good always good um, it makes me look less crazy you know it's always a bonus so we'll just do that after work and which means later today, which for you means nothing really, because it's just going to be the next segment. So just keep watching <laughs> and I'll see you soon. I think I've actually found my lining. So this is my box with, with linings. There's all sorts in here. There's like larger bits, there's smaller bits. And I didn't want to deviate too much from the blue. I didn't want to go too contrasting because I don't want to add a third color to this fabric. So basically I have first found, not showing you this, I first found this fabric, which is, um, I think it's like a um, polyester organza. God knows why, why I bought it, I don't know. Um, it's a little stiff and it's quite see-through I mean and a color wise it's a different it's a different texture and I think the raw edges of a denim as you wash it will probably fray inside and you'll be able to see it so that's a no um, back in the box <laughs> and then the second one I actually found what I wanted I had no idea I had it forgot all about it I don't go in these boxes very often and I didn't even get to my second box yet I've already found I think this one I got from the textile center I'm pretty sure I did um, as like a backup and if you look at this gold it's very very close it's like a light same shade I know this kind of um, This like a brocade print is not ideal, but I think as a cut through it on a on a diagonal, I think you won't be able to see what it is. So this is it. Um, I think. Hey guys, you have got to see this. I was ironing all my last summer made clothes, and I found this top which I made as a test for myself before I made another dress with this pattern and I've never worn it and yesterday I was ironing ironing them to hang them up in my closet and I was like oh my god like so this is how to do fashion number five Aarhus I think I, I don't know if I'm saying it right it's Dutch and what I love about this is the gorgeous shawl collar which you can actually wear up I think you could wear it up like this if you wanted to um, or you can wear it like I do today it has tulip sleeves which um, have the split on the front of the sleeve not on the side which I think is much more flattering actually and um, it's got a little tiny little pleat here at the front which is absolutely adorable and it closes in um like a side zip and it also has a little peplum now i made this as a top and today i'm wearing it with my vicky sews rooter pants which is like a wide leg white leg jersey pant super comfortable but you know i have to tell you it creates such a beautiful silhouette for me i think it balances out my shoulders and creates this nice kind of you know like a waist shoulder hip ratio that I don't usually get from like 
things that don't have puffy sleeves but this one doesn't it's just like a it's a, just a normal normal sleeve and the fits there is a little wrinkle in the back but other than that you know what it's absolutely gorgeous and i'm actually thinking about making <laughs> making more <laughs> like in forms of dresses and tops um i'm pretty sure this one actually comes in a different um a version as in you can make sleeveless and you can put little gathers i'm gonna pop you a design flat on the side somewhere and you'll see for yourself but i just thought i'm gonna show you because i i am absolutely in love with this top that i've had over a year and I had no idea. I had no idea. I think I need to just get rid of that little pleats there which I will take out of my back for on a on a paper pattern. Other than that it's gorgeous. I think it looks rather regal with this sleeve. What do you think? So the postman just been okay and <laughs> in a good tradition of makers gonna make and buyers gonna buy i've got two two packets of little labels right so this is from um so anonymous and this one says um seam queen and they're really good quality actually they come um six six in a in a box they are quite nice really silky and the second one is you do you beep the haters <laughs> and make it happen <laughs> um i think i'm slowly turning into a bit of a a bit of a label collector i, I don't know why it just they fascinate me i just i not even i do enjoy putting them on my clothes but i also enjoy having a little stash of them and just having all the varieties in like little they're like cute little packaging you know Anyway, that's that. Another thingy I just got in the mail is this interesting, interesting book. And it's by Claire Schaeffer. And it's all about making your Chanel inspired jackets. And honestly, it has like so many beautiful photos and um, almost like a step-by-step, step-by-step pictures and also loads of inspirational pictures. And I would only imagine she probably took a few apart just to see what's inside. So, you know, she's, basically she's telling you how to make your own Chanel inspired jacket. Um, it also comes with DVD and i got it in preparation for next year because you know i have a plan coming along for next year it's going to be slightly different all my sewing it's going to be more focused and more like a couture so i'm kind of gathering all my bits and bobs ready to kick off but um meanwhile we're just gonna keep playing and i just thought i would share i would share this beautiful Book. I can't wait to have it as my bedtime reading tonight. So uh, I wanted to show you. <laughs> I wanted to show you my wardrobe, and I have two double wardrobes, and this is my the one with all my actual clothes. The other one has loads of fabrics in it, but can't tell anybody. And it does have some clothes, but this is basically my main wardrobe here. Um, I think I'm going to make a little, little like mini series for you guys, because I have loads of things like 
silvery dresses that I had on repeat and also deer and doe Sirocco jumpsuits and things like trousers are repeated and you know loads of dresses a few coats summer coats that are repeated so I think I'm gonna make like little mini videos for you and just talk about all these patterns I like so much and maybe even try them on <laughs> or maybe just like put my face you know um, but just to show you you know how I talk about my love for polka dots so let's just count how many polka dots I have in my wardrobe right now one Two, three, four, five, um, six, yeah, seven, eight, Nine, ten, because these are two, it's a set. Eleven. Mm. Mm. Twelve. Fourteen. <laughs> Twelve, fourteen, thirteen. <laughs> Cheating. Cheating. 13. 13 at the moment. Um, yeah, I don't think I missed anything. No. I thought I had more. <laughs> I need more polka dots. I need desperately more polka dots mix in my closet. Anyway, I'm unprepared. So this is a little messy, but not as messy as it could have been. So, yes. Do so you want to go through my clothes with me and see what I've got? <laughs> um, I've cut up all my bias tape and I don't like it. I don't like, it looks a bit manly, like a manly suit lining kind of thing. I've cut up a lot of it <laughs> and um, I'll probably use it for another project. Meanwhile, this is my bias bias box. Um, this is like my viscoses and cottons, and here are my satins. These are the ones I brought from Ukraine with me. They're so cheap. I'm not even going to tell you how cheap they are. So I kind of robbed the whole shop with whatever they've had in my favorite colors. Um, this one. This one they didn't have much black left so I took it all um, I've used some up already but basically what I'm trying to tell you is this I'm going to be using this gray one I looked on Amazon again today and I think um, golden will be too much just too contrasting and uh, they didn't have the shade of blue to match this this fabric here so I'm gonna go with this grey I think it's not gonna stand out too much so that's a change of plan number one already um, here on the floor I'm cutting out um, I had to roll it up because I needed to get ready for work this morning but um, I'm gonna finish cutting out all my pieces I'm gonna start applying my buy a stay on them. Stay tuned. Hey guys, this is Saturday afternoon and I've been working in my sewing room like a good girl that I am. And then somebody has been trying to distract me with this absolutely most amazing mojito I've ever had in my entire life. And I'm not saying it because I'm biased. It's actually <laughs> the best mojito I've ever tried. So say hello to Neil. Hi. He's not feeling too happy in front of a camera yet, but don't worry, we'll train him up. <laughs> Second mojito. He's a hoot. Do you say hoot? You didn't say that, do you? I swear to God. It's even tastier than the first time. 
compliments to the chef. <laughs> so there we go. Cheers, everybody. Happy weekend. Right, guys, it's Saturday night. I have been hard at work. I've literally assembled assembled every single part of my trench. Um, and it's all in pieces that just needs to be put together like a puzzle. <laughs> so um, I finished the edges of all my side seams, the back, the front. Um, let me just find you a shoulder seam. Yeah, I've done the shoulder seams. Um, I'm also being the nerd that I am. I've done a few tailor tacks on it because I didn't want to. Um, I didn't want to mark this fabric so close to face. I don't. I don't know. It doesn't take long, really. Um, I've done the collar, and this collar has two parts: one bigger and one smaller, and the smaller one. Just um, rolls in when you iron it, so it's nice. Um, this is the belt. The belt has a really nice um, shape on the end. I quite like that, like little leaves. Um, this is the belt loops. I've done these pockets. Instead of doing like a side seam pockets, I wanted to maybe do patch patch pockets I don't know I've prepared them um, I've ironed them I might use them I might not use them I don't know I'll have to put the coat together pin them on and see um, this is the sleeves again I've done I've done all the seams this will now I've only turned it up like this to show you but it will go on the inside of a sleeve so yes um what else do i have oh yeah i have the um i have the facing which goes on the inside and i've also finished it with um bias binding and you know what I think this grey actually goes quite well I think it goes much better than the gold wood I think it gives this color gives a bit more sophistication um, you know rather than gold would have been too in your face you know you've already got like gold everywhere I don't know I think I made a good choice oh hi how are you doing? <laughs> what a week! Oh my god. I haven't finished my trench coat. I was trying so hard. Can I just say, my neighbours have some sort of radar, and I'm not talking about one neighbour in particular. That's right. Like, literally all the neighbours around me, every, every time I start recording, they're like, hey, wait, she's on again. Right, come out. And one comes out was like, <laughs> um, and then they go, and I'm like, oh, thank God, okay, right, let's resume. And then I'm like, oh, hey guys, let me just tell you about my updates. And then the next one's like, yeah, I'm on it, I'm on it. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you can feel my frustration. That trench behind me. Is a fail. I call it a fail. A, I should have known because for Flamboyant Natural, as we all know that I am now, the animated print is a no-no. Now, what is it that we're looking at? Animated print. Duh. First mistake. Second mistake is going a one size larger. Apparently there is such a thing as big oversize. size then um the fabric right so it's like super cute it's so cute um you know you see these little like embossed embossed little hearts like absolutely adorable right try ironing them honestly a the interface that tries three different inter interfacings it wouldn't stick to it properly i think because 
in order to put these little hearts, which you see like little bits in it, have already lost their gold coating and that's due to the ironing and I think in order for them to put um, this like a waxy kind of like a um, plasticky kind of hearts in it you know the fabric around it must have had some sort of pre-treatment or something it just does not want to be glued to I like the color I like the design of it good thing is i can go one size down because i kept all my off cuts of my pattern and to be fair there isn't going to be many pieces to stick back on because this pattern is quite square so i'll probably have to just cut off a one size outline i will be making this trench again i i am telling you now it's really quite cute um with the slits on the sides, that's the height of the slits that the pattern suggests. Um, I don't know, I did lengthen it by 30 centimeters. And now with the longer lengths, it probably looks, the slits looking quite high. I don't know. Like I said, what needs finishing, right? Um, sleeves need hemming the front facing needs securing in place and hemming the actual bottom of the trench will most probably help with that as well because at the moment it's all like undone at the bottom so it comes off a bit um yeah that's pretty much it oh no and also i've made belt loops and i've made and I've made a belt, um, which I quite like, but every time I put it on, it just makes me look really bulky. Obviously, because the fabric is not, it's like a medium weight. I would say for denim, it's a quite a thin denim, but for a fabric, it's a medium weight. So it's not, you know, it does create a little bit of volume as I cinch it in. So it does make me look a little chunky in the middle. So I don't know. I mean, what I can do, I can attach, I can attach the belt loops and put the belt in and then tie it in the back, maybe, and wear it open. I don't know. So that's another thing that needs to be done. Um, and then another thing is I produced two pockets. <laughs> I produced two pockets and I will probably put them on there because it makes it look a bit more sporty and less like a um, um, magic maker. You know, I've um, put it on like, let's start again. You know, like on a Project Runway, you've got Tim Gunn, right? In my household, there is my boyfriend, Neil, and he's like my Tim Gunn. And I, and I can say that because I'm quite safe, he never watches my videos, so he'll never gonna know. He's never gonna get big-headed or anything over it. But he does produce quite um, a valuable feedback to me. So, you know, I put on the, the trench coat and I went downstairs and said, so, so what do you think? He said, oh, he said, um, what is it that he said? <laughs> Game of Thrones reject <laughs> was one. <laughs> <laughs> then um, there was a uh, magician coat. <laughs> it's the second one. And then what was the third one that he said? Something, something else, which was obviously very funny. And I do agree. When I was putting the sleeves on it, I thought to myself, in my head, I was thinking, what does it remind me of? What does it remind me of? And then it hits me, you know, you've got like this little Mickey Mouse in the um, Fantasia, you know, cartoon and he's wearing this like magical coat. Hello. <laughs> I mean, I spent the whole weekend. Oh, Jesus, like I talk about having a vision, a vision, you know, or where on earth? was my vision when I was planning this coat. I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I'm just, I'm joking. I'll still wear it. 
I think my downfall is the fabric. The fabric looks just look at it. It looks like it's glowing. It looks like it's like a magical, magical fairy tale coat. You know, it's like like a like a magical cloak. You put it on and you like, and and everybody can see you. You know, like. <laughs> Oh Jesus. Anyway, I just wanted to tell you that my make for this week is unfortunately not finished and not up to my expectations. I would be super interested to to see what you guys say. Um I will be finishing this coat um because I spent so much time on it. Like I literally didn't do anything else this weekend. But um I will be finishing it and I will be wearing it. I just need to style it in some sort of way. Maybe wear like a black um, a jeans underneath with something all black underneath. I don't think that will even help. Like, I don't, I don't know. What do you think? Do you think it's, you can save it and what would you wear it with? So that it doesn't look like a magician's coat. <laughs> anyway, you guys, um, I didn't want to leave you without a video, so unfinished make, however, you got a finished video vlog to watch. And as always, I do love you lots, and I see you guys next week for more sewing adventures and a body positivity talk because it apparently struck a chord with loads and loads of you. So stay tuned. Meanwhile, sew something magical <laughs> and stay pretty. Bye bye.